The air was thick with tension as several nerve-wracking minutes were spent trying to get a 12-year-old mini schnauzer to vomit a certain type of food most humans could never find fault with. What exactly did it eat? As humans, we might think it is a waste to throw up our favourite piece of chocolate. But to a dog, eating chocolate can carry deadly consequences. About two to three hours before it was brought in, the owner of this mini schnauzer made the shocking discovery that it had eaten one and a fifth bars of Toblerone that their helper had left lying around her room. This left her in a frenzy as she rushed her dog to the clinic. Like we have salt, we have salt. They get one, one, one bottle of salt. Salt. What's salt? Lemon. Okay, we just take the history first, huh? Mm. Okay, ready. A major schnauzer male, neutered, twelve years old. Sit down. Add one, one, one bar of chocolate and a, a bit more. From uh, how many hours ago? Eleven, twelve, one, two, two hours. Two or three hours ago. Thus, our first priority was to get the dog to vomit. Salt was first used as a method of doing so. And salt is the natural one. Salt is the sea salt. The cooking one. I don't know whether it's sea or not. No, normally it's not so easy to give. Okay, open the mouth. Put behind the tongue. Wow, like, open. Open big. Stay, Papa, stay. But what makes chocolate so toxic to dogs? Chocolates that contain cocoa contain the chemical theobromine, a plant alkaloid. It is a stimulant that when consumed in excessive dosages, can poison, even in humans. However, theobromine is certainly more threatening to dogs than humans, according to LD50 values. LD50 is an oral toxicity measurement that measures the theobromine dosage that will kill 50% of a given population. In dogs, this is 300 mg per kilogram versus the human LD50 value of 1,000 mg per kilogram. The problem lies in a dog's inability to metabolize theobromine as quickly as humans. While the effects of eating chocolate can last 20 to 40 minutes in humans, half the amount of theobromine a dog consumes remains in their system, even after 17 hours. This makes theobromine dangerous in far lower dosages in dogs. To put things in perspective, the seriousness of chocolate poisoning hinges on two main factors, the weight of the dog and the type of chocolate eaten. The greater the mass of the dog, the less risk is involved. The toxicity of chocolate increases in the order of white to milk to dark or baker's chocolate, which follows the increasing amounts of cocoa and therefore theobromine they contain. Other factors, such as the age and health of the dog, should also be considered. Hence, chocolate poisoning is assessed on a case-by-case -case basis, as not all of them might pose a great threat. That is not to say, however, that any amount of chocolate to give to your dog is okay. To gauge the toxicity risk of chocolate in your dog, chocolate toxicity meters are available all over the internet for our use. The specific notable side effects of toxic levels of theobromine in dogs include a whole long list of symptoms, such as diarrhea, vomiting, increased urination, muscle twitching, excessive panting, hyperactive behaviour, dehydration, digestive problems, 
seizures, and rapid heart rate. Some of these symptoms, like the rapid heart rate, can ultimately be fatal to a dog. After several unsuccessful attempts to get the dog to vomit using salt, an injection of xylazine was used. It did not take long after the injection for the dog to puke an unsightly mess of half-melted milk chocolate. It was certainly a moment of relief for the owner, who was on the brink of tears in the waiting room with her family. IV drips were given to the dog after to flush out the remaining theobromine from its system and to rehydrate it. I put salt at the back of his tongue, but I didn't vomit at all. Try a few times. So, finally I had to use xylazine injection, and after five minutes, he vomited out all the Toberon chocolate. And so, uh, owner is quite happy. One and a half bars of Toberon Swiss chocolate. Luckily, for the size of this dog, and the amount of chocolate that it had eaten, the toxicity level of this case of food poisoning was mild to moderate. On top of that, the owner was also quick to react to the situation by bringing her dog to the vet as soon as she could. She knew the dangers of chocolate poisoning in dogs and even tried to get her dog to vomit at home with salt before asking for an injection to make the dog nauseous. A call made to the owner three days later was received with good news of the dog's steady recovery. As a word of caution, it is good for dog owners to know that chocolate is only one of the many foods that dogs should be kept from eating for various reasons depending on the food item. Thus, be sure to keep these foods out of your dog's reach to protect them. For more videos, do check us out at topayovets.com.